Ooh, it looks good. Wait, be right back. Ooh, perfection. Growing up in a lower class household, I didn't have much to spend and to me, Apple was something untouchable. Everyone used Android in my family because it was cheap, manageable, and good enough. It was not until after years of hard work, an acceptance letter, and a scholarship that I decided to treat myself. So I bought an iPad Pro along with the Magic Keyboard and I loved it. It was unlike anything I've ever owned before. The Apple fantasy was becoming closer to reality. So when I heard that I had the opportunity to try out the iPhone 12 Pro Max for a month, I was really grateful, but I had high expectations as well. And those expectations fell short. When I used the iPhone for the first time, I just hated it. Everything about it annoyed me and made me miss my trusty old OnePlus 8 Pro. The display was only 60Hz, and iOS was a completely different experience for me. There was no universal back gesture, the notifications were unorganized, there was only a silent and ring mode, and the animations were so slow. But worst of all, the phone was fat and chunky. Bruh. Did he just call me fat? Why yes he did. Even though my hands are pretty big, the flat edges, the wider screen, and the weight of the phone just made it really hard to use one-handed. But the iPhone still has great hardware and performance. Doing day-to-day -day tasks showed absolutely no slowdowns, and even heavier tasks like playing video games or shooting video all day ran perfectly fine. And the screen is really beautiful thanks to its uniform bezels paired with a natural color acrid display, but the big fat notch blocks any notification badges on the status bar. This was really annoying and I kept on missing notifications because of it. I also wish that the iPhone had a ProMotion display like the iPad Pro because it really enhances the user experience. But the worst part about the display was when it would automatically dim itself when overheating and there was no way I could turn it brighter so it was impossible to use outdoors. Media consumption on this phone was great however, which brings me to the speakers. Although they aren't the loudest you can find on phones, the sound signature is really balanced for a pleasant sound. And when watching movies or playing video games, the wide soundstage of these speakers just suck you into a world of immersion. And the best part is, you can binge watch TV shows and play video games for the whole day because the phone has incredible battery life. No matter how hard you push it, you just can't kill this phone. Even with 10 hours of screen on time, you can still end the day with around 30%. And if you're a light user like me, then this is definitely a two-day phone because you can end each day off with around 50%. But what Apple has really been bragging about this year are their cameras. Although these cameras don't have the high megapixel count found on other smartphones, each photo produces a very sharp, detailed, and natural look. Smart HDR always ensures that the shadows and highlights are well balanced too, although that can sometimes produce a very flat image. And the three lenses give you freedom by allowing you to capture different perspectives such as the ultra-wide for capturing group photos and breathtaking landscapes, or the telephoto lens for capturing faraway details and portraits of the people you love. But let's get to the video. Even though that I knew the iPhone was the undisputed king of mobile videography, I still came away impressed by the amount of dynamic range and detail in each video. Coupled in with Dolby Vision HDR and great stabilization, I'd be happy to use this camera for just about everything because, as you may have heard, the best camera is the one found in your pocket. Now, check out this little b-roll montage we made of the iPhone cameras.
as great as these cameras are, it wasn't enough to persuade me to switch to an iPhone. But during this time, I did figure out why iPhones were so great. You see, as I was approaching the end of my time with the phone, I was still unsatisfied with it. The phone was boring, but it wasn't until Christmas that I finally figured it out. It was such a simple thing that I never thought of. All I needed was a change in perspective, because as a technology nerd, I always craved for the latest features and highest specs in a phone, which is why I loved my OnePlus 8 Pro so much with its 120Hz display and all the latest tech. On the other hand, the iPhone was a simple phone that only had the necessities you need, but it did them well. And on Christmas, while spending time with my best friend and family, was when I realized that's exactly what the iPhone aims to do. The iPhone is just a tool you use when you need it, and it excels at that with its simplicity and ease of use. It's always reliable and consistent, and you never need to really worry about tweaking anything. For example, when using the camera to take photos, you don't need to worry about taking multiple backup photos because all three lenses are really reliable and consistent. Sharing photos and videos with friends and family members can also just be done in a tap of a button. And most importantly, there is a similar user experience regardless of which model you own and that's what makes iPhones so great. The ecosystem Apple created is just magical. The iPhone seamlessly integrates with other iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, and AirPods. It's a major quality of life improvement over the fragmented ecosystem of Android and Windows, and that's why so many people choose to use Apple products. Everything just works. And I get that tech-savvy people like me want more freedom to be able to customize their phones to their liking and have every latest feature on the block, but 95% of people just don't care about that. They want great cameras, great performance, and great battery life in a package that's relatively easy to use and reliable for the years to come. And that's exactly what the iPhone aims to do. I figured it out. I finally figured it out. Hey guys, if you made it to the end, we just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel because it's finally 2021 and we have some pretty exciting content planned out for you guys in the future. If you didn't like this video though, please leave a comment down below for any suggestions you would like to give to us. And that's it for the video guys, stay safe and let's hope 2021 turns out better. Alright, see you guys later!